So Governor Gavin Newsom's soul was in eternal peril. And that is what was stated by Pastor John MacArthur in an open letter to the governor uh, in response to some campaign billboards uh, that have been posted around the country. I must, I, I, yeah, sponsored billboards. Uh, whether they were, can I don't think they were campaign or not, but uh, we haven't tried to step into anything very debatable on this channel. We did some videos about atheism and agnosticism. Uh, I'd encourage you to go and look at those. Um, it's one short and a longer video. Uh, but basically, if you're not familiar with Pastor John MacArthur, uh, if you're an evangelical Christian, a Bible-believing Christian, chances are you've probably heard of him. Um, he's definitely no stranger to controversy. Uh, I've, I've listened to him quite a bit. He's not a hateful preacher or pastor, but he does state what the Bible says. Uh, he's an expository preacher. And he goes into great detail through each text. He's preached through every verse of the New Testament. And though I don't agree with uh, Pastor John on John MacArthur on everything, um, I do have to say, uh, beings that he is scripturally based, it's it's very hard to disagree with everything that he says. If you're a Bible believing Christian, as you well know, blue collar Bible man. Welcome back to the channel. Subscribe if you like this channel. If you haven't subscribed yet or you like this video, please subscribe. Um, but if you're a Bible-believing Christian, then you're, you're no stranger to John MacArthur. If you are a stranger to him, you know, he's no stranger to controversy. He takes a conservative, fundamental stand on God's Word, and he does not mind... Um, does not mind expressing it and he stands for God's Word and that's what I respect about him and just considering this here uh, the billboards that Governor Gavin Newsom he put up around the country and to, to my knowledge he put them up obviously in states given in light of the recent Roe versus Wade Supreme Court thing back in the summer uh, where abortion was overturned. Um, and you know, these are, I'm not giving my personal opinion in this video, but G Governor Gavin Newsom put up billboards in other states stating that if someone wanted an abortion, uh, obviously a woman, they were free to come to California and get an abortion. And the issue that Pastor John MacArthur had with what the governor out in California did was he used a text of scripture on the billboard. Um, and you know, I have thought about doing videos on what the Bible says about abortion. Uh, we are not, we're not afraid to voice what God's word says, uh, here at blue collar Bible man. Um, but we also want to do it in the right way. You know, I, there is nothing worse than a hateful, angry, arrogant Christian. Um, however, there is a time and place where I do believe as Christians, we shouldn't be afraid to say what God said about the topic. Um, and indeed, uh, the Bible does speak about that topic. Um, so I'm not going to express my views about the topic in that. I'm just, uh, we will do later videos about that. However, I will quote some scriptures here in a second. Um, we will be, we'll put a link in the description to the open letter. Uh, and of course, you can, you can look this up. I'm reading from ChristianPost.com. They did an article about it. Uh, I'm sure you can find it on other websites. And um, basically, the scripture that he posted on these billboards... And if I can, I'll even try to find a picture of a billboard here and show it to you guys. But the scripture that Governor Gavin Newsom used, um, the scripture that Governor Gavin Newsom used was Mark 12, verse 30. And or no, I'm sorry, 31. 
and bear with me a second gavin knew some bill boards there it is right there okay and we will look at images okay and let's see yep there it is I don't know if you can quite see it. I'm going to hold it up on this picture. Uh, but he is quoting Mark 12:31. I know there's a glare on there. I'm sorry for that. But if you can see, it's under that bottom line right there in the white, in the very fine print. That is Mark chapter 12, verse 31. <sighs> and, you know, I wasn't going to say anything about this story when I found out about this story. Uh, but frankly, I thought to myself, I was like, no, I'm not okay with that. And I know a lot of Christian men aren't okay with that. And so if you're a Christian man that is not okay with need an abortion, California is ready to help. Learn more at abortion.ca.gov. And then love your neighbor as yourself. There is no greater commandment than these mark 12 31 well what governor gavin newsom didn't post there was that these means in the prior verse that there was another thing there that jesus says uh and so i want to read both of those <clears throat> uh i'll just read there's three verses there mark 12 29 the foremost is jesus answered the foremost is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is, You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no greater other commandment greater than these. Now, friends, I'm not trying to put my personal opinions into that. But rest assured, you cannot read what this Bible says about infants in the womb, about what David said, about what, Jer what, the, what God spoke through Jeremiah, how that he formed the prophet Jeremiah in his mother's womb. Uh, Jesus was an infant conceived by the Holy Spirit in the womb of his mother Mary. Um you can't read through this bible be a fundamental bible believing christian and be okay with that i'm not talking about the topic well some about the topic once again i'm not saying I, i'm i'm saying that this bible this bible is god's word paul says in timothy that all scripture is an, is god the, i believe the greek there is god breathed it's inspired by god and it's profitable for, for everything that a man of God, he says that the man of God will be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. That's KJV. But that's my point there. I want to read a couple other scriptures. Um, as I go back here. Isaiah 5, verse 20. Woe to those who call evil good and good evil, who substitute darkness for light and light for darkness, who substitute bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Woe to those who are wise in their own eyes and clever in their own sight. Uh, one more out of Proverbs. There, uh, Proverbs 6, verse uh 16 there are six things which the lord hates yes seven which are an abomination to him haughty eyes a lying tongue and hands that shed innocent blood folks all you have to do is read through this bible you don't even have to totally read through it look up just just go to google and look up child sacrifice in the bible uh, you know, in Ezekiel, um, I can't remember the chapter, but God says in, through the prophet Ezekiel in the Old Testament that he's talking to Israel and he says, you've killed my children, 
my children. All children are created in the womb by God. I believe that. And, you know, when I was reading this article uh, where uh, Pastor uh, John MacArthur was, um, you know, wrote that open letter to the governor, and I encourage you to read that letter. Uh, it's packed full of scripture, and uh, they did, did a very good job. Uh, Pastor John MacArthur did a very good job. But what I thought about was, bravo, it is high time that someone does that. Another thing that I thought was, why aren't there more pastors doing that? Look, I don't like when the church, the church as a whole, becomes political. Um, you're you're down, going down the road of killing yourself as a church body, in my opinion. That's my opinion. Yep, I, just my opinion. We don't need to be political. We don't need to worry about social justice. And you know, when when a when a famous person right now who's not even a confirmed Christian, who hasn't even confessed our Lord Jesus Christ as his personal Savior, when he can even tell churches that to stop being political and to start caring about souls, when a man who's not even a Christian will say that to us, friends, men. I think we're getting something, some, some stuff wrong here. So, in short, bravo to Pastor John MacArthur. Thank you, Pastor John, for standing for the Word of God. When the governor of California uses Jesus' words to support recommending California to people's abortion needs... No. One of the Ten Commandments is, you shall not murder. That's what the Bible says. So, bravo. Thank you, Pastor John. And, uh, you know, like he said in the letter and what he told his church, you can, it's a six-minute video on YouTube. I think we'll try to post that link as well in the description below. Like he said, pray. Uh, you know, we are not supposed to hate. We are not supposed to be angry. Uh, but we are supposed to have a problem with evil and pray for the governor of California. Pray for him. Uh, you know, the Bible says we should pray for all of our leaders, uh, whether we like them or not. Uh, sorry, that's the Bible. Um, so, anyway, that's our thoughts. Uh, if you've liked this video, please like it. Drop a comment down below. If there's a part throughout this um, that you liked, drop me an amen, brother, <laughs> in the comments below. And as always, guys, this is Blue Collar Bible Man, trying to protect y'all with God's shield of faith. Act like men. And we will see you guys in the next video. We will be doing a video on Christian nationalism next. So stay tuned for that. We are fair. We say what the Bible says about everything, not just about people we don't agree with. So take care and uh, peace be with you. May the Lord Jesus be with you.